for joining me and our bug friends today. We were just enjoying this beautiful sunny day. Look, the sun is shining and the clouds are so white and fluffy. The grass is so green and the flowers, oh, they smell amazing. All these things are so wonderful, so good. And that reminds me of today's true story from our favorite book, the Bible. Do you remember who wrote the Bible? That's right, God wrote the Bible and every word is true. He wrote it especially for me and for you. And then we are quiet. And listen, we'll see how very much God loves you and you and you and me. In today's true story, we learned that God made everything good. So let's get ready to watch our true story together. Fasten your seatbelts and turn up your listening ears. Oh, great job. Let's watch. In the beginning. We live in a beautiful world. Just look at the amazing things around you. Let's go back to the beginning and see what the Bible tells us about how it all began. In the beginning, God made the heavens and the earth. God moved over the darkness and said, Light! He called the light day, and he called the darkness night. Day one, done! Then God made a space to separate the waters above from the waters below. He called the space sky. Day two, done. God gathered the waters together and dry ground appeared. He called the ground land and the waters seas. Then he made plants like grass, grain, and trees. Day three, done. Then God made lights in the sky. He made the sun for the day, the moon for the night, and all the stars. Day four, done. God made fish to swim in the waters and birds to fly in the sky. Have babies, he told them. Fill the world with splashing and singing. Day five, done. Next, God made animals. He made farm animals, wild animals, and animals that crawl on the ground. Just one more thing to make, God said. The most special thing of all. So in his image, God made man and woman. Have babies, he said. Take charge of the world. Care for the fish, the birds, and the animals. Day six, done. Then God looked at everything he had made. It's very good, he said. So on the seventh day, he rested and made that day special. Day seven, done. friends, God is the one who made everything, and God made everything good. Hey, that's our big idea. Hold up four fingers and say it with me. God made everything good. Yes, God wanted to walk and talk with you and with me, so he made a place where we could live with him, and it's a beautiful place indeed. Let's see if Bible Buddy has any Bible words to help us learn our big idea even better. Can you get bouncy with me? And we'll sing his favorite song. Are you ready? Here we go. The B-I-B-L-E, yes, that's the book for me. I stand alone on the Word of God, the B-I-B-L-E Bible. Bible Bunny, it's so great to see you. Our friends are here too. And we've learned a new big idea today. We can't wait to share it with you. Are your listening ears on? They are? Great. Okay, friends, here we go. Hold up four fingers and let's tell Bible Bunny our big idea together. Ready, set, go. God made everything good. 
Oh, Bible Bunny, it's true. We watched a true story from the Bible about all the beautiful things that God made just so he could live with us and talk with us. And we were wondering if you had any Bible words that would help us learn our big idea even better. You do? That's great. We love when God talks to us from the Bible. Friends, when we open up the Bible and we find Psalms chapter 139, verse 14, here's what it says. I praise you, God, for all you have done is wonderful. Oh, Bible Bunny, those are very helpful words. And we were just noticing all the wonderful things that God has made. The shiny sun and the white fluffy clouds and the beautiful green grass and even the flowers that smell so amazing. Yes, I want to praise God for all he has made. Don't you, friends? Oh, okay, we can help. Boys and girls, Bible Bunny would like our help. He wants to praise God for everything he made too. And he's wondering, what are some other things that God has made? So let's help Bible Bunny. I'll name something that God has made, and then you wanna jump up and shout our big idea, God made everything, okay? All right, listening ears on everyone? All right. God made all the yummy food we eat. Jump up, friends. What's our big idea? God made everything good. Yes. Bible Bunny, did that help you? It did? Oh, great, friends. We're helping Bible Bunny. Let's do one more, okay? Listening ears on, everyone. All right. Bible Bunny, God made all of our pets. Friends, is that good? Yes. Jump up and shout with me. God made everything good. Great job, everyone. Bible Bunny, God made all of our pets. You can go home and praise God for all of our pets. Oh, friends, Bible Bunny is so happy that we helped him today. Now he knows that God made everything good and that he can praise God for all these good things too. Thanks for visiting with us today, Bible Bunny. We'll see you next time. Bye. So boys and girls, I have a question for you. Sometimes we forget to praise God for all the good things he's made. Does God still love you and me even when we forget? He sure does. How much does God love us? This much, this much and more all the time. And God will help us remember that he made everything good so we can praise him. Let's praise him right now. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody praise the Lord. When the sun goes up, when the sun goes down, everybody praise the Lord. Everybody sing. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, everybody praise the Lord. When the sun goes up, when the sun goes down. It's almost time to go. Hold up, four fingers. What's our big idea? God made everything good. Yes, remember to praise God for all the things he made. Let's pray before we go. Let's be very quiet. Let's be very quiet. We fold our hands, bow our heads, and pray to God. Dear God, we praise you for making everything good. You are amazing and we are so thankful. And all God's children said, Amen. Remember, God made everything good. 
He made your food and he made your pets and your family and your friends. So praise him all week long. See you next time. Bye. Bye.